Hi, I am Dr. Pramod Krishnappa, consultant urologist and andrologist. So erectile dysfunction is one of the most common sexual problems which can lead to significant impact on the quality of life and we do few tests to diagnose some of the causes leading to erectile dysfunction and penile doppler scan is one such investigation that we advise to evaluate the erectile dysfunction so how is a penile doppler scan done and and what are the things that are involved the process involved in doing a penile doppler scan penile doppler scan ideally one should take a prior appointment because it takes around nearly 45 minutes to 1 hour to complete the entire process so before doing the scan one is given intracavernosal penile injection which means a small insulin syringe is used and then a medication like a papaverin or alprostadil is loaded into the insulin syringe which is injected onto the penis so that an artificial erection is induced before the scan is done so there are various medications that can be injected into the penis to induce artificial erection the papaverin is the most commonly available uh, medication but again it should not be used on a repeated basis because that can cause some side effects like the fibrosis or hardening of some of the components that is the corpora cavernosa in the penis so the best and the most widely used medication for a penile doppler scan is the alprostadil alprostadil is the only fda approved intracavernosal penile injection for both diagnostic and therapeutic purpose so the radiologist or the andrologist gives the injection penile injection and then they start doing the scan usually at 5 minutes and then at 10 minutes and then at 20 minutes of course different diagnostic centers or the hospitals follow different protocols usually it's a standard to do at 5 minutes 10 minutes and 20 minutes so what is assessed in the penile scan is that the blood flow is assessed both the arterial flow and the venous flow arterial means the rate at which the blood is flowing into the penis the venous outflow means the rate at which the blood is moving out so this systolic and diastolic speed of the blood flow is assessed second is the also when the injection is given some of them they may have the bending of the penis which is called as the curvature of the penis so that also can be documented and the radiologist who is doing the scan can also make a note of how hard are the erections on a scale of 10 the 10 is the the most hardest erection and one is the lowest so a radiologist may comment maybe a 7 out of 10 erection or 8 out of 10 erection depending on the hardness of the erection and also sometimes there will be some abnormal curvatures or sometimes the foreskin may be tight so if these things are mentioned in the penile doppler scan it will definitely help the andrologist to treat in a, a better way and uh, once the scan is done the patient or the person has to be in the hospital or the clinic till his penis becomes flaccid flaccid means the penis the erection should come down before he leaves the hospital so and then it doesn't cause much of a pain it's just a small tiny uh, insulin syringe which is uh, injected which is used to inject the uh, medication and then with the report one can consult the andrologist to discuss the further treatment plan of course penile doppler need not be done in every case of erectile dysfunction there are few specific indications when we do get this penile doppler scan and in fact it is not the first line investigation in all patients we do it on a select basis of course if we plan to do any surgeries on the penis definitely it is an investigation of choice but it's not the same in uh, every patient so penile doppler is a safe procedure and preferably done in a center where there is an availability of the andrologist and a radiologist both are present so that if any complications like a priapism happen it can be treated very well and on time by the in-house andrologist so penile doppler is safe takes around 1 uh, hours time to complete the entire procedure and is one of the diagnostic tests 
to evaluate erectile dysfunction.